Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my creamy garlic tomato chicken. So let's get started. I have three chicken breasts that I flattened and also cut into little slices. In my bowl I have one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, some pepper, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I also have a fourth of a cup of flour. I'll place this all on the plate. I'll dredge my chicken through the mixture and then fry it in my pan. So I'll mix this all around. I'll take my first piece of chicken. I'll place it through the mixture. Make sure it's coated well. I'll just leave that off to the side till I get a few and then I'll place them in my frying pan. I have some oil in my frying pan and I have my burner on medium. So now I'll take some of the chicken breasts and place them in my frying pan. You want to brown them on both sides. Now I'll go dredge the rest of the chicken. So now I'll take this chicken and place it in my pan. I'll finish up the rest of the chicken. Now that my chicken is all dredged in the mixture, I'll flip these over. I'll flip over this chicken. What I'm going to do is add a little bit more pepper on top. I'll sprinkle a little bit more garlic powder on top. Once I brown all my chicken, I'll add in one and three-fourths cup of chicken broth. 
one cup of heavy whipping cream, and one can of diced tomatoes, and it's 14.5 ounces. I'll add this all to the frying pan. I'll let it reduce down a little bit, and then I'll put it in a baking dish with some cheese on top, put it in my oven on 350, and let it bake for about a half an hour. My chicken is now all in my frying pan. I flip these over, you can see it's nicely golden brown. And I add a little bit more pepper and garlic powder onto these chicken strips. Smells good. Now I'll take my lid and place it on top. What I'm going to do with this creamy garlic tomato chicken is I like to serve it over orzo. So I'll probably use about a cup of orzo because it makes quite a bit. And you'll just cook it according to the directions on the package. Now I'll remove my lid. Oh yeah, look at that. Now I'll take my one and three fourths cup of chicken broth and place that in the pan. Along with my one cup of heavy whipping cream. I'll take my spoon Mix it around. You want to pick up any little tidbits on the bottom. I'll let this cook a little bit and then I'll add in my can of diced tomatoes, which is 14.5 ounces. Now I'll put the lid back on. I'll give it about five to ten minutes and then I'll add in that can of diced tomatoes. Now I'll remove my lid. It's been ten minutes. You can see the sauce is boiling. I'll take my can of diced tomatoes. I'll place that in. Now I'll mix that around. This creamy tomato garlic chicken is really good. I'll give it another 10 minutes. Then I'll turn my burner off. I'll place it in my casserole dish. I'll put the lid back on. After 10 minutes, I'll turn my burner off. I'll place this mixture into my casserole dish. Once it's in the casserole dish, then I'll place some cheese on top. I'll add some mozzarella. Then I'll put it in my 350 degree oven for about a half an hour and then it's done. This is quick and easy. It's been 10 minutes and so now I'll take my lid off. And I'll place this in my casserole dish. Now all my chicken is in my casserole dish, so now I'll pour the liquid on top. I'll place some mozzarella cheese on top, put aluminum foil, and then put it in my 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So I just put enough mozzarella cheese on top just to cover it, and I'll put it in the 350 degree oven for a half an hour. 
you want the cheese to melt. Now I have my water boiling for my orzo. And I'm only going to cook a cup of the orzo. So I'm cooking it according to the directions on the box. Just waiting for the water to boil. You can see the mozzarella cheese melted. So what I'm going to do is pour a little of this on top of my orzo. You can see it's hot. It's steaming up the camera. I put a little orzo on my plate. Oh yeah, look at this. It really smells good. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.